Hey, so I saw Blue Beetle and I thought I'd do a review. And I'm going to do a simple review because if I did like a woke review, then it'll be like way longer and then it would be interesting. But I'll go with a simple review. So I saw Blue Beetle. It was a good movie. It was an action movie. I knew I didn't even know it came out until I was looking like on the website and I saw that the movie came out. Because I heard about it, but I didn't know it came out. Because I never saw a commercial or any advertisement or anything for it. I just happened to look at the movie theater's website. Because I had some free time. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go see a movie. And so I decided to see that. It was good. I thought George Lopez was good in it. It was a little interesting. Um, I'm not going to tell the whole, like, the end of what happened. But in the movie... He meets this girl she gives him something and it was like yeah rich girl poor guy i thought the sister was a crude character and i thought it was unnecessary like the disgusting stuff they had the sister do and i don't even think it was like a race issue the fact that the whole family was latino but they had the sister basically be like crude and gross and rude and I felt that was unnecessary and borderline racist. And then, but I liked the movie overall. But I think, I feel like it wasn't the right character that they should have made Latino. For the simple fact, it was an experiment. It was like one thing if you came from space or something and everything. But based on the, like how everything they teach you in school basically they had black people enslaved in latin america and white people and other people came over and like basically it was a big melting pot an experiment basically and then you have a latino person starring in a movie where they're where he's basically an experiment it just felt under underlying tones of racism I I feel like this movie it should have been done with white people and it would have had less undertones because like if you're looking at it in a woke sense, it's racist and derogatory towards Latino people. But the interesting thing, when I was in the movie theater, it was only Latino people there. But yeah, and then it's interesting because when I talk to Latino people and I'm like, how do you identify racially? They're like Latino. And I'm like, how do you identify? Because it's like, you identify as indigenous is one thing but then like some people that i've met that are latino that identify as indigenous because this movie brings up a bigger topic that identify as indigenous they look white and then there are indigenous people that that look indigenous that identify as indigenous or native or whatever and then if you're visibly black in latin america you identify as black but then they're it's like, I was watching this documentary on YouTube and they were talking about black Mexicans. And I'm like, OK, if you're if you're black Mexican, then what are regular Mexicans? And I'm like, because they look like regular Mexicans, like people from Mexico to me. I, I didn't see them as black. So I was like confused. And I'm like, what is a Mexican or traditional Mexican supposed to look like if they're black Mexicans? And I was just like, that's confusing. But back to the movie. And there was a lot of action and fighting. And then there was another Latino guy who was like the bad guy. And then he was experimented on. And it uh, and it touched on like basically kind of like the history of Latin America. But not really. It was like basically just what happened to him. How a white woman came and killed his mother, his family and everything that he knew. Wiped away his memory and chooses to ignore it. And he's submissive, basically, to this white woman until his memories are brought back. And I felt that that had underlying racial tones to it, too. Because white people went to Latin America and basically was like, white is right. And then brought black people, and white people, indigenous people all got together. Because, like, I watch these videos on YouTube and, like, there are these people 
in like Latin America, they're like, oh, I didn't know I was white. I'm Latino. And it's like, okay, but your race, you look in the mirror, you look like a white person and you didn't know you were white. And they're like, no, I'm Latino. And it's like, they're shocked to find out they're white. And it's like, maybe you should get some glasses. Yeah, because I don't get, how do Latino people take history and then not realize that they're a product of what they're talking about, especially when they talk about Latin America. I don't know. I find that interesting. Yeah. But it's like black people acknowledge slavery and everything. And like when I hear about a Latin museum, because like they're doing like a Latin museum in San Francisco. My thing is, why is that so big? But the African diaspora museum is so small and basically, Latin America is a part of the Latin diaspora. It's basically the Latin diaspora because a lot of Latin people have Black ancestry. So I think it should be more of an indigenous museum. I would think that would make more sense to have an indigenous museum to for indigenous people all around the world. But that's a whole nother topic. So basically, Susan Sarandon was like this evil white woman but then it was like weird because they were like she has a brazilian niece and it's like the girl her mother was native i mean not native her mother was brazilian i'm assuming and her father was white because that was her brother and but the girl is identifying as brazilian and she has an accent and the father's white. But then at the end, like during the credits, you have to stay for the credits because then it comes out that her father was the original Blue Beetle. That, But he didn't have the skills. He just like made stuff like Batman. And there was some guy who was the Blue Beetle and the only way you get the Beetle out was to kill the person or the person has to die to get the Beetle out. Yeah... It was an interesting movie and it brings up a lot of things and I would say if you like action, all that stuff, it's nice. But if you're like a woke person, you might not like the movie because then it brings out all these other things because I feel there should be representation and everything. I just think this was the wrong movie to represent Latino people because I feel like in a way it's disrespectful to latino people and making fun of them because it's like basically they're saying it's alien the beetle is alien and that can be deemed as racist because i remember when i was a kid i'd watch the news and they talk about illegal aliens and i'm thinking like people from space are coming but no it was people from latin america mainly so in that sense it's racist because like even in the movie george lopez's character he was like he doesn't like the word alien because it can be offensive so I feel the fact that it's supposed to be an alien technology or alien blue beetle and it attacks a Latino person. I feel that that's if it's going to go, if you're going to give a woke analysis, that's racist. And the experimentation on a Latino person is racist because I feel like basically the only way you could have did this movie where there would have been like not really any racial undertones where it would have been deemed as racist was if you did it on a white person because experimentation you can't do any of that on a black white latino asian native person because of history and it's racist underlying tones of how experimentation because it was like, basically, Latin America was an experiment taking people that were slaves and bringing them there. Because it was the experiment that worked because everybody blended together pretty much except for like in Brazil. But Brazil is mixed, but not as mixed as like other places because you can still see like African features and stuff. And everything, so... I feel for that reason, you can't do experimentation and do stuff like that on Latino or any other race of people, but especially Latino people. I feel that that's very racist. And then the fact where it was like the white woman supposed to be the savior. And then you have a Latino Brazilian niece or a woman that's identifying as it. And then she's 
completely ignoring her white heritage and it's like why are you ashamed to be white so it's like there's a lot of things mixed in there that I don't think are right because it's like if you're biracial acknowledge you're biracial don't go you're Brazilian because it's like where's your white father and there's just a lot of things in there but overall if you're just looking for an action movie explosions fighting and all that stuff I'd say go for it but it was surprising. Pretty much everybody in the movie theater, it wasn't very full, but everybody that was in the movie theater was Latino, pretty much. Yeah, and I was surprised. I would say there weren't even 20 people in the movie theater. I'd say maybe 10 to 15 people in the movie theater. But I can understand if people wanted to boycott the movie and everything, because there's certain things I can understand. Because if you're woke, it's it's a horrible movie. If you're not woke and you're ignoring all that and you just look at look at it as a movie and ignore all the other undertones and stuff, it's a good movie. I like it. But I think considering everything that's happened in Latin America and even now, I feel like it should have been more like Black Panther-esque where it was like, they were empowered and they were wanting to help other people and fight crime. And it was like they were empowered and everything. And it talked and they had the grandmother talk about like how she was a fighter back in the day and the revolution and everything. And that's also part of oppression. Yeah. Because they were saying she was from Mexico. But then even if they did it with like Cuban people, that would have been offensive too. Because when you think about it, like I was reading about Castro. Because I was thinking like he was there. His family was there for generations. He was only first generation in Cuba. And then he started this revolution. And his parents were from Spain. And it was like Spain enslaved the world. And then you do this to Cuba. And it's like you did what your ancestors did to the rest of the world. And it's like, yeah, that's not cool. But... I like the movie overall, ignoring all the woke factors to it. I like the movie. I would say if you're going to ignore everything and you just want to support Latino actors and see something like that, go see the movie. But if you're woke, this is definitely not the movie for you. Because if you're looking at it in a woke sense, it's offensive to Latino people. Yeah. So that's my review. If you like, watch and subscribe. Bye.